Yes. 54 victories, including 39 knockouts, with six defeats and one draw. He's a four division, five time world champion, Domas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, Juan Manuel Dinamita And fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, Freddie Roach, wearing gray, official weight, 147 pounds. His professional record, 60 fights, 54 victories, including 38 knockouts with four defeats and two draws. From Sarangani Province, Philippines, the eighth division, 10-time world champion, Manny... Batman Hakio The chunks are so high on both sides. So anything going up here will be considered a clean punch. Now, gentlemen. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Up here will be considered a clean punch. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch them up. Dennis Forte. They've had three very good fights. Is this too much of a good thing or is too much of a good thing a good thing let the thing finally begin Kenny Bayless trying to push Pacquiao back he wants to come out of his corner to the center of the ring now the bell rings is it round one or round 37? Pacquiao starts off with a straight left hand, fires two jabs. Neither fighter has landed yet. Straight left hand lands for Pacquiao, straight right hand lands for Marquez. Those are their trademark punches. I think we can already see Manny Pacquiao trying to use more head movement, getting away from Juan Manuel Marquez's counter shots. Well, he's starting out quicker than he started before, and yes, he's giving fakes, trying to freeze him, because if he can freeze him, he can hit him with that strange left hand that he throws. It looks like Pacquiao still has the fire in his belly. Does he have the fire in his fists still? And you see Marquez throwing some good body shots early as well. He's already going down there twice this round. A good left. Good left by Pacquiao over the top. Landed on the butt. Marquez touching Pacquiao with the right. This time Pacquiao ducked the right hand as Marquez tried to counter after Pacquiao threw the left over the top. One of the things that Manny said would be different, that he'd be able to avoid Mar Marquez's counters by moving his head. Well, he's definitely moving his head more. Unquestionably. Even before he punches. Will he keep it up and will it work? Those are the questions. I think he'll keep it up because I think that's what he's prepared to do this time that's different from the last two times. Because in the first fight, he used a lot of head movement. That's how he was able to drop uh, Marquez so many times. Like that with the face. Left by Pacquiao. Marquez with the left hook. Action very much, very much like their first fight. Energetic. Flowing back and forth. It's a Marquez crowd. 
That was clear during the introductions, and now they're chanting Marquez, Marquez, Marquez. Tries to get to Pacquiao's body again. Good left hand by Pacquiao inside. And Pacquiao landed a good uppercut inside, too. Marquez just trying to see what Pacquiao is bringing to this dance. Not doing much leading and has hey! taken more punches this round. If throwing and landing is the difference, it appeared that Pacquiao may have had the advantage in round one. Where he's come down. Jab a little bit more. And lively, lively, be alive. He's moving to the side, he's trying to catch you with the left. He caught you two or three times, two or three to the left. Well, in a high profile head to head battle like this, only one man can win. Ringside observer Mitt Romney can testify to that. <laughs> He's in the front row right behind Manny Pacquiao's corner. Along with White Ann, as you saw. Here's round two. Harold Letterman gave the first one to Pacquiao. Punches in round one. Pacquiao 13 of 56 by CompuBox count. Marquez only 5 of 32. Pacquiao threw 35 jabs in the round. That holds up to the pattern that he's demonstrated in the three previous fights with Marquez. Pacquiao against most opponents throws two-third power punches, one-third jabs. Against Marquez, two-thirds jabs, one-third power. Why? Marquez's counter shots. Jim, by putting Romney in Pacquiao's corner, is that considered promotional uh, <laughs> That's persuasion? just a good seat. Okay. It's just a good seat, Roy. That's all it is. Okay, okay. Just checking. Marquez looks exceedingly cautious early, Roy. That's always. That's, this is how he fights Pacquiao. And the one thing that he said that, you know, we, don't, we may not necessarily agree with, but... I asked him what was the one characteristic that allowed him to give Pacquiao such a hard time. He says he's smarter than Pacquiao. Well, he is a professor of boxing, you know, against a fighter who is a great offensive fighter. Two and good body shots by Marquez after Pacquiao landed a left upstairs. I remember the words of Joe Frazier about Jimmy Ellis. He's a really smart fighter. He's always thinking in there. And all the time he's thinking, I'm hitting him. <laughs> And that may be what's happening right now. Oh, good left, good left, left hand by Pacquiao. Backs Marquez up. Oh. Another good left hand shot by Pacquiao. He's finding Marquez's chin early with his left hand. And Marquez hasn't countered back against either of those two shots. And the head movement, uh, Jim, is what, what is allowing him to land those shots. And it may be keeping Marquez from throwing. Mike Tyson seated close to the fight at ringside. Remember his head movement early in his career? Set up his offense. That's what Pacquiao's trying to do tonight. Kept guys from punching at him and it, it enabled him to get closer to them than they expected him to be. If Mar Pacquiao can keep this up all night, it's a new wrinkle. Yes, Larry? Well, Marquez said he has to find a grain, a grain of difference for him to win over the, the judges. And so far, um, he's a grain less. He's doing uh, relatively little, and maybe this is a measured way of dealing with the obvious pressure that Pacquiao is putting on him. Mark has landed a good left hook several seconds ago. Pacquiao backs away from a right hand. That was a good right hand by Marquez, actually. Good body shot by Marquez there. Nice. That was a more even round than the first one, or so it seemed, but Pacquiao landed two clean left hands right on the chin of Juan Manuel Marquez. You cut him with a right hand and a hook. Gracias. Vaseline. What do you... 
Breathe deeply. Stick to the game plan. Keep it that way. Keep the footwork going. Very good defense. Jim, here you see what I'm talking about in the first fight. You see the pump fake followed by the one two, and the left hand lands cleanly. The pump fake usually holds him still. Then he jumps in with the one two and catches him with the left. Urban Magic Johnson at ringside, enjoying himself as always. Time box numbers in round two. Pacquiao 12 of 41. Marquez 6 of 41. Pacquiao with a 9-6 edge in power shots landed according to CompuBox. You know, a couple of the left hands that Marquez has absorbed were the kind of punches in the first round of the first fight that knocked him down. He was better prepared for that left to take that left hand now when it gets through. Or maybe Manny has less power as some people have speculated. Right. Another left hand landed for Pacquiao on chin, and then he threw to the body with the left hand. Pac Man seems very motivated here, I must say, Jim. He's happy, he's enjoying himself, and he's constantly on the attack. And he's befuddling Marquez with all that movement. Head movement, upper body movement, keeping his feet going. It's an exhausting way to fight. He's carried it through very well for the first two and a half rounds. Another straight left hand down the pipe lands for Pacquiao. And he gets Pacquiao, or gets Marquez again with the left as he goes by. He's fainting Marquez out of the game. He's fainting him. Marquez stays still. Next time, instead of fainting, he comes. And Marquez is right there. And he's not nearly as stationary a target for Marquez's counters as has been the case in the past. So Marquez makes a smart choice and goes to the body with the left hook. Very smart choice. Another body shot by Marquez. That'll be the way to go if Pacquiao keeps all this movement up. Got to find a way to slow it down. The first time in 39 rounds that Juan Manuel Marquez has been able to put Manny Pacquiao down, and he did it with his signature right hand over the top. And that's the punch, the looper punch. I told you that the weightlifting would definitely benefit. And he stunned Pacquiao with that right hand as well. But this is going to be a two-point round for Marquez, unless Pacquiao can retaliate. Marquez has been measuring Pacquiao, who's been the more aggressive fighter. And that time he measured him for the right hand. Good left up to by Marquez. Pacquiao's totally on the defensive now. Now he starts to throw again. He won't stay defensive for long. You already know that. Those body shots with the left hook by Marquez set up the right hand over the top. They sure did, because just like Pacquiao was using face to hold him, he used the body shot to hold Pacquiao still. Breaks out in Vegas at the end of round three. Manny Pacquiao was knocked down by Ron and Marquez. He tried to retaliate, but Marquez makes the point stand up. Marquez fade down after the jab, fade down like he's going to the body again and come right over the top with the overhand right instead of the body shot or the straight right to the body. Caught Pacquiao as clean as he's ever going to catch him. And that's the first truly dramatic statement that Marquez has made in 39 rounds with Pacquiao. He landed five body punches in the round before he threw that colossal right-hand shot. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Chip. Remember, boxing is scored on a point system. And in points, 
Juan Manuel Marquez evened it up with that knockdown. He gets two points in that round. So in points, it's 28-28. I get Manny Pacquiao the first two rounds. I thought he led the defeat of shots, but Marquez evened it up with that right hand in round three. So 28-28, it's all even. I have the same score. Marquez wobbled Pacquiao in the second round of their second fight. That was as close as he had come prior to that moment to knocking Pacquiao down. This is a big psychological turning point. Let's see how the two fighters respond to it. Well, if they wonder if the weight lifting helped him, helped him at all, that was your answer. He's never dropped Pacquiao like this on one punch. Another straight right hand by Marquez finds the target. Now Pacquiao lands a jab in the left hand. Pacquiao seems to be fully physically recovered from the knockdown. Is he fully psychologically recovered? Oh, he was fully physically and psychologically recovered at, at the end of the round he got knocked down in. That was not his first rodeo. <laughs> and Pacquiao is doing some really, really good head movement. They're just a little bit older. Maybe the reflexes have slowed just a tiny bit. Maybe that means a more wide-open offensive fight than ever before. Maybe that means their version of the thriller in Manila. <laughs> good, right, good left hand by Pacquiao. Good combination by Pacquiao. Uppercut inside by Pacquiao. Straight Pacquiao. left hand landed before that. Pacquiao has been trying several uppercuts. It must be something uh, they saw where Marquez might be open. Well, it's interesting because it's a signature punch for Marquez. That's He's one just, of the best uppercut throwers in the game. That's what I was just about to say. That's what Marquez always hit him with in fight three for sure. So why not try it against him? Good jab by Marquez. Good right hook by Pacquiao. Another good right hook by Pacquiao. Great right hand by Marquez. They trade shots again. Sit down, listen. Just stick to the game plan. Don't yeah. change your game plan. Stick to it. And attack, attack a little more. Can you do it? Attack a little bit more. Walk a bit more in the combinations and then. If you'll notice in Pacquiao's corner, they are rubbing his calves. He has had cramps in fights before. Star started ringside tonight. You saw Ray Leonard. Manny Pacquiao landed 14 of 37 punches by CompuBox count in the fourth round. Juan Manuel Marquez, 7 of 35. Pacquiao with a 9-6 X edge. 9-6 edge in power shots. And you saw that Harold Letterman scored the round for Pacquiao, putting him back in front by a point on Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. It's been a fascinating first four rounds. The headline stories, Pacquiao's movement, Marquez's right hand knockdown in the third round. Pacquiao hit Marquez with a flush left hand, uh, and Marquez scarcely blinked. <laughs> Means he's very focused, Larry. And he sees it coming, whereas in the earlier fights, he got hit by punches he probably didn't see. Well, you got to be careful, though, because once again, Pacquiao is sitting down on his punches, and Pacquiao is giving him some feints, and Marquez right there. And there goes the knockdown. Manny Pacquiao evens up the knockdown count as he puts Marquez on the canvas, or at least 
forces him to touch his glove to the canvas to score the knockdown in round five. Now let's see if Marquez tries to retaliate down the stretch of this round. Oh, there's just so many left hands you can take. Yeah, Marquez, from Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Marquez wasn't respecting the face, and that's how Pacquiao caught it. Oh! Huge right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao was able to stand up. This may be the best fight yet. Yeah, this is a <laughs> blood-curdling war so far. I mean, they promised toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but we've heard that story before, and uh, seldom do fighters really try it at this level of the game. Well, this is a different brand of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is step-back toe-to-toe. <laughs> like that. One step back and we bang it. Good body shot by Pacquiao. That may have hurt Marquez. Pacquiao's feeling good now after knocking Marquez down. His job is to get out of the round. Oh, Marquez, Marquez is hurt bad. Retaliate. Marquez is hurt bad. All right, Marquez hand. is hurt Marquez bad. Marquez's feet are wobbling. Marquez He's is hurt trouble. bad. Pacquiao attacks. He may think he has him. But Marquez is hurt bad. Marquez still wobbling as Pacquiao drives him into the corner. And Marquez won't hold. Doesn't Marquez have his legs hold. back yet. Marquez still wobbling. Fighting almost as though he's injured a leg. But he is fighting back. Boy, five years ago, we didn't know that Marquez had that in him. But he is fighting back from some really killer shots. What a round. What a round. Oh, a war in Vegas. Pacquiao evened up the knockdown count. Nothing, it's a little cut. Hey. That, just like that. Get close to him and go for it. He see uh, Pacquiao laying that straight left right down the pipe and down goes Marquez with his gloves touched, but that's considered a knockdown. Then, that's that straight right hand again, yeah. and left hand again, and down goes Marquez. You see the gloves touch the floor right there. That's cause cleanly a knockdown. Later in the fight, you see a left hand followed by a right hook, which he said he's going to use this time, and that right hook really hurt Marquez, maybe worse than the left hand did. Sergio Martinez at ringside. Manny Pacquiao's right hook reemerges from dormancy in this rivalry. Sometimes it's his most effective punch. Everybody game plans for the straight left. Pacquiao in that round, 26 out of 48 punches including 21 power shots. Marquez was just trying to stay in there. Sixth round of the schedule 12. It's going by fast, and it's been brilliant stuff. It wouldn't surprise me if Marquez's nose is broken. There's a lot of blood coming from it. He was stiff-legged all the way to the end of the round after that big right hook, but managed to stay on his feet. I don't know how he finished. Looks as though Marquez's nose is broken. The blood is gathering under his nose. And his left eye is swollen. These are big shots Pacquiao's been landing early. And there's another left hand, and another left hand. And Marquez drives him back with a counter shot. And once again, the drama king has created more drama, brought us the blood of drama, and brought out the battler. Marquez's Marquez. mouthpiece is out of his mouth. No, it's not. No? No, that's something so, else. That was something else. Okay. Well, so I, hope like it was a I hope it wasn't a bridge. Probably some Vaseline. It was a big gob of Vaseline. You're exactly right, Roy. Another Pac left hand for Pacquiao. Yeah, Pacquiao's killing Marquez with these head fakes. He's fainting him, fainting him, getting close enough. If Marquez doesn't move back, he rushes with enough hand the next time that lands right on the button. Partially blocked that right hand by Marquez. It was thrown from a long distance. That was the one that knocked him down earlier. I don't think that'll happen again because I think Pacquiao has made the adjustment. No, but he might knock him down on an uppercut or a left hook. Yeah, he might, but I doubt it because now he's allowing Pacquiao to faint him first, and that's why Pacquiao is landing so many big shots. Pacquiao well, what could Marquez do to stop that? 
he has to get back in front of Pacquiao. He needs to either faint or he's going to stay behind. And it looks, it looks a little bit like Marquez is having trouble breathing because of the blood in his mouth. Pacquiao and lands another nose. straight left hand shot and another. Two champions performing like champions. Yes, sir. See those movements right there? That's what's causing Marquez the most trouble. Because when Pacquiao does that, Marquez doesn't really realize how close Pacquiao has gotten to him. Marquez was off balance again. Now gets his feet back and tries to roar back to nail Pacquiao with the right hand. Oh! Sensational right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And that is the keystone moment of his career. Manny Pacquiao is still face down. And it may mean a fifth fight between Marquez and Pacquiao. If what a Manny... victory for Juan Manuel Marquez with blood streaming out of both nostrils and his mouth. Wow. With his legs wobbly from hard left hand shots for Manny Pacquiao. He scores a colossal right hand to knock Pacquiao cold. And we have to ask, will Manny Pacquiao ever be seen in the ring again? Correct. Those are your two possibilities, a fifth fight or a retirement. What an amazing fight. What an amazing, stunning knockout performance by Marquez. So the tsunami that hit the Philippines is replicated here by the tsunami of Juan Manuel Marquez's right hand. This was in the last two seconds of the round. Yeah, Jim. The last two seconds, Pacquiao was coming at him real hard. He knew Pacquiao was coming. This is what a guy does to you when you have your timer down, Pat. Watch Pacquiao as he comes to Marquez. Marquez steps back when he's coming, and here comes Marquez following with the overhand right. You see that? Pacquiao Bam, missed right the right the hand. He knew he was coming. He just caught his rhythm because that's what has caused him, has enabled him to cause Pacquiao so many problems. The overhand shot, though, the looping shots, but when I told you that the weightlifting would help, here you see this is a looping shot. So that's the shot, bam, right on the button, that the weightlifting definitely will help you with. That's the hardest and most dramatic shot we've seen in the sport since Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams on November 20, 2010 in Atlantic City with a very similar shot. And Martinez is sitting about eight feet away from where Pacquiao lies or yeah, lies face down at that moment. And Pacquiao had no clue that that punch was coming back at him. That is why counter punchers wait to counter. That's exactly right. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the knockout of Manny Pacquiao. Ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, this fight comes to an end at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. The winner by knockout victory, Thomas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, Juan Manuel Dinamita. Final CompuBox numbers, academic. They're going to show Pacquiao with every advantage. Landed 94, took 52. Threw 10 more punches, landed at a significantly higher connect rate. Pacquiao came in with a brilliant game plan and was executing it well. 
The only problem was the two right-hand counter shots with which he got.